Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today we have quite a treat. So for those of you that do not know, the Greek festival is held at the Greek Orthodox Church on Cashua Drive here in Florence on the South End uh, at least once a year. I can't remember if it's annual or semi-annual. But anyways, what we do know is that it's happening right now here in Florence this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so what I've done is I stopped by and I picked up almost everything on the menu and we're going to try it and take a look at it so that you can see what they're offering at the Greek festival. Now, a couple of things before we get into the food and you can see in the B-roll footage on your screen, there's live music, they have crafts, jewelry, uh, little knickknacks, they bring in olive oil, soaps, different items from Greece that are for sale at the festival. And so it's a really fun time. It's more than just food, but no doubt most people especially if you're watching this video, are interested in the food. And so what I've got here is a selection of items from the menu. Let me get this out real quick. All right, so first we got their Reganado chicken dinner. It's a baked chicken marinated in, a, it's a half a chicken, marinated in lemon juice and Greek spices. Man, I can already tell you that looks good right there. Comes with rice pilaf, Greek salad, and a spinacopita is this guy right here. Then I got a six count of their domades, which can be different things, but I believe these are rice and beef uh, wrapped in a grape leaf. So we'll bust one of those open so you can see those here in a second. And then I had to get their moussaka, which is um, which is uh, ground beef and potatoes and eggplant. I can't really fit all this on there, and this is kind of soft, so I'll put that up in a second show y'all that. And then I got some desserts too. So let's get into the video in case you were wondering what these are and am I completely clashing and mixing flavors? Yes. These are called tacolitos and I do have napkins. Tacolitos can be found predominantly, at least the only place I've been able to find them is at um, your TJ Maxx and uh, I got these at Home Goods for $3.50. So if you're into chili limon type stuff, if you're into like uh, Takis, these are way better. This is far superior. So it's just a little hidden gem that I know about from TJ Maxx. Your wife shops at TJ Maxx all the time. Go over to the snack aisle, pick up some tacolitos. We'll get some of those in a minute. Let's start with this domades. Mm-hmm. That's super good. So you can see that is beef and rice. A little sticky. Let's try with this Greek marinade. This should be lemon and olive oil based. Yeah. You're not going to be mad at that. I can pretty much guarantee you you're not going to be mad at that combination. So I'm going to come back to those. Let's get into this chicken, though. I'm going to pull the wing off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that chicken's marinated well. Let me get this over here real quick. Try this rice, rice pilaf. Crazy good. Olive and feta cheese on the Greek salad. Let me get y'all in there with that chicken. Crazy good. Nothing overpowering. Very herbaceous. And that's really what, um, that's actually what this sauce is for right here. So let's get that in there. Make sure we get that in there. If you want to add the pop to it, chicken's good by itself. 
It doesn't need anything. Really good with that rice, but if you want to get that pop to it, that guy right there is what you're going to want. Hmm. Super good. So yeah, if you never So if you've never been to the Greek Festival in Florence, this is a staple. They've been doing it as long as I can possibly remember. Uh, if you're seeing this video, then it's new, like the day of, then you can get over there today or tomorrow. Might be a little bit more convenient. This is Panacopita. So that's a real flaky uh -huh. pastry with spinach and feta cheese. Crazy good. It tastes, you know, I should have a plate. That's what I'm going to do next time. I got to have a plate. I see that because got, I've got a gap right here. You don't see it. But I got a gap. Makes it difficult. This tastes exactly like something. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. I mean, I'm talking about it tastes exactly like something other item. Really good, though. Get in that chicken one more time. I wish I could remember what that tastes like. That's going to bug me now. All right, so let's get into this moussaka. Like I said, you got uh, potatoes, ground beef, eggplant with some cheese. Crazy good. It's got a, let's get it in there with some rice. You got to get it in there with the rice. This has a, it's got like a, like a warm spice flavor, like almost like um like a nutmeg type cinnamon type thing going. And it works. It's really good. Just chat a little bit while we eat one more of these Delmades. We created a Florence Foodies Facebook group. Y'all should go check that out and join for sure. Post your recipes, post your meals, anything food, put it in there. We're going to be happy about it. That's crazy good. Kind of reminds me of like a corned beef hash. Really good. But I mentioned, I posted an initial post in that group. Florence's food scene is changing. For the better. Now this, this festival has been going on for, like I said, as long as I can remember. Long time. But the reality is, for a long time, Florence has struggled to provide a premier food scene. So most of our frequented restaurants are chains. And I'm not completely knocking chains. I think that chains have some value and there are certain items at chains that I like. But we haven't had a lot of authentic or, or gourmet cuisine in Florence as a whole, but that's really changing. There are people that are coming into the area that are bringing their talents with a variety of styles of cuisine, with a variety of ethnic background. And there are people in our town that are investing their finances and resources and time into the development of uh, our, our food scene in Florence, excuse me. I'm going to show you all these real quick. No, nah, I'm not. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to cross. I don't want to cross streams. All right. So I'm not going to do it. I saw these, though, and I picked them up. I always pick these up when I see them. Tacolitos. All right. Let's go to what I honestly have been looking the most forward to. 
Luca Mades. I may have botched that, but they're little Greek donuts. Drenched in honey and cinnamon. Man, I already know these are going to... I already know these are going to hit. Just little fried donuts. Mm. They're chewy. They're airy. I had to travel back with these. They're still super good. So I'm not I'm not holding that against them. If y'all remember, we went to Golden Crown recently. And uh, one of the big things there is the sugar biscuit. Probably the best thing on that bar that I have is that sugar biscuit. This competes with that sugar biscuit. And I would actually prefer this over that because it's got more of a natural feel to it. I like the honey touch instead of the powdered sugar. These are banger. They're number 18 on the menu if you go up there. Get these. I'm gonna close these up, I'll eat the whole box. I'm not gonna eat all these because uh, I will disappoint some people if I do. Other people are going to be eating some of this. But I will eat the baklava for you. If you don't know, baklava is also a flaky pastry. Walnuts and a syrup. Crazy good. But what I can tell you, I'm going to eat one more of these too. I'm just going to tell you that right now. What I can tell you though is um, get over to the Greek festival. If you, <clears throat> if you haven't ever been and you're in Florence, you need to go. If you're seeing this video new, like today on its release, then you can get over there this weekend. If you're seeing this video at some other point in time, then just understand that the Greek festival is held at the Greek Orthodox Church on South Cashua Drive. And you want to go and check them out. They even have a drive through so they they made it very convenient. Yo, this dressing crazy. So I'm not mad at anything that I just ate. I can't fathom how you're going to go to this festival and be disappointed with anything on that menu. I could eat a hundred of these. So look, we're here to provide y'all with good information when it comes to Florence. To live here is to eat here. Now that's obviously not all we're doing on the channel. We do weekly housing market updates every Tuesday at 7. Housing market updates, you can check in on those. I highly recommend it if you think you may ever be interested in buying or selling. It's really good information. It's free. It's subjective data and inside perspective, so it's really helpful. I try to keep those short, six to ten minutes. All kinds of other real estate tidbits, home tours, selling tips, buying tips, information about the buying process, interviews with local experts in different fields like home inspectors, lenders. We want to bring you all some information about home insurance and different things that will be helpful for the public when it comes to real estate. That's the idea. But the reality is buying or selling a home is like one component of your story in living in our city, whether you were born here or you're moving here. Truth be told, you're going to buy the home one time. You're going to eat in it like a million. 
or you're going to leave it to go get something to eat and then come back. It's not just food. There's other things that we're going to look at too and that we have been looking at, but I digress. For me and for a lot of y'all, the food's a big part of it. The Greek festival is something that we don't have access to every day, but it is here right now. And they do have these fun little Greek donuts. Among other items that I would suggest you're probably really going to enjoy. So I encourage y'all to check it out. If you're already familiar with the Greek festival, leave a comment below and tell us what are your favorite items. And that is the final point I want to make. If you do like these videos, please do actually like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, and leave a comment below and let us know what you think. And so I look forward to hearing from y'all and seeing y'all around. As always, I wish y'all all the best. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.